Welcome to Economics Week 4. As always, you can expect those weekly, weekly videos on your Sunday pages of your Beyond Classroom or BC platform. What these videos function as is a preview for the week ahead. It's objectives, which you can expect out of me and what I expect out of you as well. So, let, without further ado, let's get into Economics Week 4. So we will learn how a centrally planned economy, which is the opposite of a free enterprise that we've discussed in week two and three, week three, how a centrally planned economy is organized and will be able to distinguish between socialism and communism. Now we know that a, the question is always about who's in charge of the decisions and who's in charge of the resources. So in a centrally planned economy, the people in charge of the resources and of the decisions are the government. Now, we know the government has a role in free enterprise as well. No system, no theory of economics is fully applicable, as we've discussed. But, however, and when it comes to socialism and communism, communism being an extreme form of socialism, vice versa, we will see that the centrally planned economy is one run by the government in turn for the people. We will also describe the rise of mixed economic systems. I've briefly just touched on that how we don't have a perfectly free enterprise or perfectly communist system in the world and how those systems have failed. And that has given rise to the mixed economic systems. So this is a, a mixed, you can think of it as a hybrid, as a compromise, as a work coming together of two different types of ideologies to help give the best outcome for the people of a nation. <clears throat> Excuse me. We will be studying the mixed economies of various nations along a continuum between centrally planned and free market systems and be able to describe the role of free enterprise in the United States economy. Now we know the United States is the poster child of free enterprise. It's what the, company, uh, the country was built on. And what, we'll, what we will be doing this class is assigning each group or each individual a nation. And for that nation, they will be the representative of that nation, whether it's in the 21st uh, first century or prior. What we will ask the students to do is to give us a brief, an economic brief about the nation they're assigned and explain whether the country is more centrally planned or it is a more of a free uh, wheeling enterprise type of economy. We will also discuss the basic characteristics of U.S. free enterprise system and describe the role of the consumer and the entrepreneur in the American economy. Now, 70% of the U.S. economic GDP is a consumer based. That means it comes out of retail money, uh, what you buy in grocery stores, in fashion clothes, so on and so forth. Uh, finally, we will identify the protections in US Constitution that underlie free enterprise and describe the role of government in the US free enterprise system. 